Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today is Sunday afternoon, and it's kind of late. It's uh, about 5.30 right now. I got here earlier, but I broke down some shelving and did some more packing in the garage. Uh, but now it's, you know, like I said, 5.30. I'm going to answer emails, respond to offers, and then we'll do packages. Okay, we're going to start the day off with an automotive repair manual. 97 service manual for a Ram van wagon. It is pretty thick. Let's see. It should go in a eBay branded 12108 box. I need to reload on a couple different boxes. Try to remember to do that after this round of packages. I've been moving stuff in the garage and it is hot. I think the temperature gauge out there says it's about 105 or 110 or something like that in the garage. So, sweating up a storm. Alright, got that done. Let's get two sheets of bubble wrap. I don't know if I'll need, uh, you know, like cardboard in the back to support it, because this is a paper back, but it is quite thick, so I don't know. We'll see. You know what? I got this here, and that should work. And this is extra. Came in one of my orders. There we go. That should work, and now I don't have to wonder and then look around later. And what I can also do, if there's room is roll a piece of bubble wrap that my order comes in it that comes with my orders and put it at the bottom here in the back let's see okay yeah that fits with ease and i am going to do what i said i'm going to let me get a couple sheets of bubble wrap from my orders i don't know why this comes off on some of them all right and what i'll do is just roll this one up and put it underneath that so it'll prop it up a little bit and then this piece we're just going to fold over a few times and lay it down i mean this manual is in rough shape and i would have to say it's going to be used not like a collection or anything so that's good and solid in there This manual has been listed a long time. I sold it for $14.01 plus shipping. And it has been listed since October the 21st of 2016. So nearly five years. I guess four and three quarters. And it will ship. It's right at five pounds. So I'll send it the five pound 15 ounce. Ray, it's going media mail. There we go. And now we have a pair of shoes. So let's get a priority mail shoe box all ready. As I'm packing and looking around as far as what to move to the new shop, I am going to end quite a bit of stuff and get rid of it. Just because I don't want to move it. I mean, it hadn't sold yet. There's really not much reason to keep it around, I don't think. Okay, now let's see if we can find them. I think this is them over here. Nope. Those are no ats, but they're not the right size. Let's see about this one. Yes, okay. Here we go. This is a pair of women's noat, or naot, N-A-O-T sandals uh european size 40 i think it's uh us like nine and a half these are made in israel i picked these up at a churchyard sale a while back and i believe when i did i think i picked up three maybe four pair and i got a, a small pair up there still yet but that might be it I'm trying to see if i see any more sandals up there and i 
don't offhand, so this might be the last pair, or next to last pair. Alright, I'll just slide right in, and we'll take half a sheet of bubble wrap and roll it. Put it at the top so they can't move around. These Nayot, I guess I should call them, since the A's first. Nayot sandals <clears throat> sold for $20.81 plus shipping. They've been listed since October the 3rd of 2019, and they will ship at the two pound rate. Okay, I had to redo the automotive book. I put it in the regional rate A box. When I got up there to print out the label, it's in the automotive book section, manuals and everything, but eBay will not allow a media mail label to be printed. And like I said, you could probably walk oh, walk through the line and, and send it, but I just, it's easier for me to do that, pay the extra, I don't know, $3, $4. So I went ahead and did that one up. Now we have this Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington face coffee mug, a 14 ounce made by Silver Buffalo. It is used, and I'll just wrap it up in two sheets of bubble wrap. Take this. And then I guess we use the bubble wrap that we did not get to use on that book that my orders come in. Let's see. Put that piece like that. I'll just fold these around the sides. It fits right in. I guess we only need one of these sheets now. And with this, I just kind of make a layer over the top so the coffee mug doesn't move about. You see, nice and solid, doesn't move. This coffee mug sold for $10 plus shipping. And it has been listed since August the 23rd of 2019 and it will ship at the pound 15 ounce rate all right now we have a laptop computer battery let's see it's right here and this is for a Toshiba I forget the exact model uh, here is the model number of the battery if you want it it's a real long word and they come already in the little plastics and so I just wrap it up in a sheet of bubble wrap. I bought this at a school surplus auction years ago. I went to one and you had to buy it. They had them uh, pallets made up. And they were going down like, man, four pallets at a time. You bought all four pallets, everything on them. And so I had, I don't know how many of these, uh, 50 or so. And it looks like I've sold 18 so far in this current listing because I have a quantity of uh, 25 is what I listed. And it looks like I've sold 18 of them so far. I do put it in a priority tie-back envelope. And now I put it in a padded priority envelope. down the top part here this battery sold for nine dollars and 99 cents plus shipping and it has been listed since july the 24th of 2017 so a little over four years and like i said i think i've sold 18 we do not have to weigh it because it's a flat rate envelope and we're nowhere near the weight limit Alright, now we have a comic book. Hmm, only one I have. Alright, this is Death's Head, issue number 9, with Ben Graham the Thing on the front cover. Published by Marvel, and we will ship this in a Gemini mailer. I did find some more painter's tape in the back. Uh, yesterday I think it was so I did not buy any more today 
after I just use this up. Might be a mistake. There we go. Might have to unpeel it a time or two before it gets really good. There we go. And after the move, I'm really going to have to get back on the bandwagon list in comic books. And that's one thing I'm realizing by moving the stuff. Right now, I'm boxing up and moving everything that is not listed and putting it to where I can load it up first. And that way, you know, it, it I leave everything that is listed where it is so I can find it. But I have got a ton of comic books to list. Uh, Death's Head number 9 sold for $4.85 plus shipping. It's been listed since August the 6th of last year, 2020. And it'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. And now we need to get an 864 box ready. We're going to ship out a uh, computer CPU chip. Six, four, and then we need to get a sheet of bubble wrap and cut it in half. Here it is. This is an AMD Athlon XP 1600 Plus. You can see it right there. This has not been opened. I put new old stock. Does have some writing on it, but it did sell. This came from the fellow's storage unit pick that I did. And it's okay to use the bubble wrap. The CPU is, you know, very safely protected in its packaging. So it's not going to get any of the electric stock shock. This CPU sold for $30 plus shipping. And has been listed since July the 27th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, now we have a couple of comic book orders. Let's see. Oops. Wrong place to look. Phoenix. There we go. And the next one is image. Person bought three by Image United. Issue number one, cover A. Issue number one, cover E. And issue number three, cover A. And we'll see what they weigh. I thought these were much thicker. Yeah, they. it's going to go priority in the legal flat rate envelope. I already wrote the do not bend and put a fragile sticker on it. So put them in a tieback envelope, get a uh, Gemini mailer, tape them into place, I think on this I'll go ahead and put in an extra piece of uh, cardboard, I'm going to put it on the top though, I'm cutting it now because I know it's way too big there we go and then this will just slide right into the legal flat rate envelope Uh, 
and then I tape it shut just in case that glue does not hold the whole time. And I put a strip on the top and a strip on the bottom to hopefully prevent it from splitting open. Now this isn't anywhere near thick, you know, but I have gotten them where they're split open. For the three comic books, the buyer paid $7.05 plus shipping. They were all listed on October the 8th of last year, 2020. And we do not have to weigh that because it's a flat rate envelope. We're nowhere near the weight limit. Now we have a Mutant X, issue number 20. Uh, Jean Grey and Madeline Pryor, published by Marvel. This will ship in a Gemini mailer. Get it taped down. And I'm using the painter's tape when I actually tape the comic books down, the comic book plastic bag. And, and on those, when I'm taping a tie-back envelope down, I use the packing tape. But it's just because no one's going to save that tie-back envelope and put it in their collection. But somebody can take this right out, take that painter's tape off, it doesn't leave any residue or anything, and put it right in their collection, bagged and boarded, ready to go. The Mutant X number 20, sold for $1.85 plus shipping, and it's been listed since January the 17th of 2019, and it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, now we have a uh, trade paperback. Underneath the uh, posters. It's that one right there. I don't think I have any more left. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that's my last one. All right. Get on into the packing room here. This is Amazing Spider Man, Mark of the Tarantula trade paperback. And it collects Amazing Spider-Man issues 231 through 237 and annual number 16. We're going to put that in a bag that the comic bags come in. You can ship trade paperbacks and graphic novels, the hardcover version, uh, medium mail because there's no advertising in them. And that is what we're going to do with this one. We're going to put it in a Gemini mailer. And I believe this one gained popularity because of that annual number 16. That is, I believe, where the Monica Rambo gets her powers. And so that issue really spiked uh, in price in, uh, during the... Uh, what was it? Uh, WandaVision TV series. Might end up having to buy new painter's tape anyway. That might be too old. Okay, for this trade paperback... Uh, it sold for $11.50 plus shipping. It's been listed since August the 5th of this year, 2021. So about 9 to 10 days. And let's see here. It will ship at a pound 15 ounce rate. Let me put tray paper back. Okay, now we have a model kit that we're going to ship in a Priority mail shoe box. And this model kit I sold before. I shipped it out. And the post office comment said no safe place to leave for delivery. The buyer said the post office is terrible and never delivers anything. I'm not going to go pick it up. And so this person never went and picked it up and then filed a claim through eBay. And eBay gave him a full refund and I was out the shipping. 
I did get the model kit back in the mail, you know, because if you wait around and don't pick up your mail, they'll, as long as it's not media mail, they send it back to the sender, the original shipper. Uh, but here it is. It is the little coffin show rod. It's part of that terrible box condition lot. And we will wrap this up in a sheet of bubble wrap. So I did block that buyer. You know, because if, if they're having issues with the post office and they're unwilling to go pick up stuff, I do not want to have to ship to them several times and be out shipping. So I block them. I relisted this, you know, and sold it again. That holds it nice and secure. This model kit sold for $43.75 plus shipping. And this time, it did not take very long at all. I listed this one on August the 12th of this year, 2021. So it only took two or three days for it to sell again. And it will ship at the 15 ounce rate. Okay, we got a couple more comic books. Vampirilla. That one right there, yep, DF. And on the other side, Amazing Spider-Man. This is the one I'll photo and relist, or sell similar, however you want to call it. Alright, so we'll start with The Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue 17, and this is the blank sketch cover. And, eh, that one looks like it has a spot on it. And I called it a very fine. I thought I put the one that I took a picture of right there in the front. I don't know. At any rate, I called it a very fine. That one has a spot right in the center. But what you do is you take this to a show and you can have the artist actually sketch on this cover and get actual real art by the cut by the artist. And if you get the you know a CGC representative there to watch, you can get it graded, you know, and, and official. I tell you what, we're gonna wait on that one. I'm gonna go look at the pictures and make sure I get the right one. This is Vampirilla. Uh, it is Rebirth, number one of three, and this is a Dynamic Forces exclusive cover that does have a COA with it, and COA is Certificate of Authenticity. So we'll go ahead and do that one up in a Gemini mailer, and then I'll go and make sure I'm shipping the correct blank cover out. This Vampirilla has been listed for a while. It came in a collection where the guy had a lot of Vampirilla and Lady Death, Tomb Raider, that kind of stuff. And I remember I drove to Dallas to buy it. It was, I believe it was about eight long boxes. But it did finally sell. I accepted a $12 best offer on it today. So $12 plus shipping. And it has been listed since September the 26th of 2018. Let's see here. It will ship right at the 8 ounce rate. Alright, I went and looked at the pictures and it is the one that has the little dot on it. Now that might not be a big deal. When you get it sketched, they could actually color over it and it would not affect the grade. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty nice. I put it as a very fine, which is a, a good grade. Not the best, but it's good. And now that people are getting out and about more, you know, I know we are having some more conventions. And, you know, it's much more likely you can get out and get an artist to actually do the sketch on there for you. And I do have more, so I'll take a new picture, and I will relist or sell similar. And the way I keep track of it, I know I got confused on this one, but I put the one that's listed very first in the slot. 
so this next time hopefully i'll remember and i did it this time i just that little dot threw me off but i will put it first in the slot this amazing spider-man uh blank sketch cover so for three dollars plus shipping it's been listed since August the 3rd of this year, 2021, and it will ship at the 12 ounce rate. Okay, now we have another comic book. Star Spangled War Stories, it's the only one I have left. Yep. I always gotta double check and make sure. Okay. So it is Star Spangled War Stories Issue 176, featuring The Unknown Soldier, published by DC. This one is a low grade. You can see it's pretty beat up here. You got a crease here and a crease here. So it did take a while to sell, but it sold. And I need more Geminis. All right, so I got another Gemini mailer, and that's what we'll ship it out on. And let's tape it on down. These old war comic books do pretty well. I know this one took a while to sell, but I mean, I had quite a few listed when I did this one. And like I said, this is the last one. This sold for $3.25 plus shipping. It's been listed since February the 15th of 2017, so a little over four years. And it'll ship at the 8 ounce rate. And now we have a postcard, Brooks Beach, Okoboji, Iowa. It has not been postmarked. We're going to put it in a postcard mailer. Now let's get an 864 box. somebody sent me an email today they had bought a real photo postcard uh, I believe last week of Juniper Lake in California and you know they were just like thank you so much for sending this card we love that lake I forget if they said when they were kids or now but they said that area with that where the real photo was taken is now decimated about because of the fires you know and I was like well I guess that that would be true I know people buy like the old houses and stuff because they're not there but I guess it didn't dawn on me about you know landscape that would be gone so that was nice oh, tape folded over on me this postcard here sold for nine dollars plus shipping and it has been listed since March the 27th of 2019 and it will ship at the four ounce rate all right that is going to do it for me today uh, we did what 12 or 14 packages and then I did get another section of shelving disassembled in the garage like this is a four foot section I did three four foot sections and two of them were double-sided and then I also got another four or five boxes of stuff packed up. So I made progress there, and it is hot back there. So I'm done for the day. I'm going to go ahead and head out. I hope you have a good night, and we'll see you again tomorrow for more packages. Bye-bye.